We're all going to New Jersey in the camper van. Thanks. All right. Oh, I let the game decide which, uh, which save game. Wait, what was that thing? Repatriate. Repatriation. Sam is a repatriate, meaning he can return to life from the place known as the seam when killed. In the seam, follow the strand to guide Sam's soul to his body to bring him back. Yeah, that's just another thing. They're just, oh, he, he can do this. Like, th th this person, when they die, they can actually survive in their twin's body. This person was never really born. They're just made up of the cadavers of, like, other people. 70%. They're just alive. This person can die over and over again and come back. It's just what happens. Yeah. You're pretty sure Utah people aren't allowed in New Jersey at the moment. Isn't it so strange? We were talking months ago how the coronavirus was so bad in New York and New Jersey. Like we were like, we were in the worst places to be in the beginning of this thing. And, and now, like, our states don't allow people from other states to come in. <laughs> so weird. All right. Here we go. Boop. All right, Elizabeth. I hope you feel better. I can't believe you showered with the random body part. <laughs> Yeah, that was very awkward, too. We showered with Guillermo del Toro yesterday. Uh, and we actually had the real actor. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I forgot to clean myself up after yesterday. We had the real actor in the chat yesterday uh, who plays Die Hard Man. Or Die Hardman. Hi. Hi. Need me to mute? Yeah, Hold a second. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sam, do you copy? As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. Yeah. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Uh, um, to, to explain a little, our bodies, our ha, all ha. occupy the same world, but our souls, our car, have beaches all their own. These beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs, religion, philosophy, and so forth. As a result, a beach can be anything, and those anythings form a multiverse. However, if many people die at once, their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field. This phenomenon is exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, exits vanish and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, it like it's like, a, shut uh, up! A record player. The needle skips, playing the same phrase again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. Now, the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War II. Hmm. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. I can't explain it. But if you can connect me to the Chiron network, who knows what we might discover. Yeah, you, can't, don't, you don't even have privacy in the shower, apparently. Like, really? Still there, Sam? If so, I have a request. When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal. All right. Radio in the shower is not, yeah. 
You don't want you don't want a phone in the shower. Alright, let's drink the stuff. I gotta get my stamina up. At least it was a voice and not a webcam, that's true. All right, um... It's Twitch in the shower and you're live streaming. Why am I getting these net... Like the first like six streams of this, we never got a network error. And now these past two days, we're getting network errors like constantly. What is that? Soothe, now it says Soothe Lou instead of BB. What's up, Lou? Look, he's hitting the glass back. What? What? Okay, he's out of his gourd. What? Let's check on him again. Who else has lost a fist fight with the baby? I know, he totally won. You okay? Like, yeah, stop bothering me. I was having the weirdest dream that I was punching you. All right. Let's get out of here. Do 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 do. People use my zip lines. All clear. Welcome to Sam Porter Bridges. All right. You guys, ready? Let's see what our first mission is. Sam. Sam, the west side of that region is covered by a massive tar belt. Oh, good. Beyond it is Edgenon City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. Good. The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held captive. Oh, Amelie. We need you to bring her home safely. But before you cross the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman will help you get it done. No. Hartman's lab, all right. Hi. Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I, for one, would like very much to know the reason why. We gotta take her body? A closer study may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. Suffice it to say... One minute remaining. I don't have much time. 
CG of preparations. I'll be waiting. I'm gonna sneeze. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Ah. Uh. Other players can use your zip lines. Yeah, this game has um, an interesting, not really a multiplayer aspect, but a social aspect where things you build um, can be used by other players. You can leave other players likes, which helps them gain experience points and stuff like that. So you don't really interact directly with them, but other players can influence your game in subtle ways. Um, all right, let's take on these orders and see what's going on. Orders for Sam. To the roboticist. Do I want to bring stuff to the roboticist? I don't think so. Corpse delivery. Hartman, Hartman's lab. Recovery. Wintery clothes. Yeah, let's just do this. Here we go. What do I want? Well, we're going to need a ladder. Let's make one ladder at least. I have 12 blood bags. That's way too many. Uh, my boots are pretty good. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of some weapons, I think. And we have three. I'm going to want two more of these. I always like having five of those for some reason. Attached to my suit. Confirm. Confirm. All right, I have to recycle some stuff too. Bring out your dad. All right, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Malingan's special. So she's a corpse that won't blow up, and they want to find out why. It'd be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. Now I just put her on the floor. <laughs> I knew it. Just dump her on the floor. All right. Um. All right. Let's recycle. I, I think I have too much stuff. Select cargo. Wait, where is my stuff? Did they say that all my stuff went in the pri Oh, they put all my stuff in the private locker. Oh, that's weird. Okay, because we came back from the other land. All right, move all that. Too many pieces of cargo selected. Place those in my utility pouch. Um. Okay, so I, I already have the five PCC. Damn it, I didn't realize that all my stuff was here. So I have to do a minute of inventory management here. Placing grenade pouch. All terrain skeleton. We're going to equip it. Bridges, boots, level three. These are perfect. Let's equip those. These we can hang on the extra boot, boot clip. Okay. Power gloves. I really don't like when they, when you have so much equipment 
and then you complete a mission. They're like, hey, we're going to unequip everything you have. Just to mess you up. All right, is there anything else I need? I don't have anything non-lethal here. Stun bombs. Place those in my grenade pouch too. Okay, here we go. I'm assuming I can't bring... I just fell down. I immediately fall down. I'm assuming I can't put... I shouldn't put her in the car and take this because we're going to be going through the mountains, right? Yeah, we're going like... Yeah, I don't think a truck is going to work here. I feel like I'm so, uh, I feel like I'm really encumbered. I guess I am carrying a body. All right. How the hell are we going to do this? I can zip line around to the doctor. That actually probably is not the worst idea. Let's go to the doctor. And I don't know about this carrier. Uh, detach. All right, I'm just gonna leave that. All right, here we go. On the road again. I just can't wait to be on the road again. Can you ride on a bike? Other question is, should I have gone? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up here, but we'll try. Oh. How can this have no lights? one do we want? Maybe this one? If I go all the way... Yeah, I don't think I went all the way up there. I went over here. Yeah! Yeah! Dead person strapped to my back! Yeah! All right. Adam Eats Crayons is that guy's name. Adam Eats Crayons. Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. There's a hot spring. Hmm. 
So there's a hot spring here. Yeah, we'll just keep following. Well, I guess we'll keep following this. We'll see what happens. No time for a hot spring bath. Weapons restrictions lifted. Yeah, be careful not to spoil anything, Raz. We will definitely watch the credits. We watch the credits pretty much every game we play. Delicious crayons. Come on, let's get this show. Okay. Uh I guess this is the way we'll go. Take a look over here. Actually, this looks pretty good. Try this way. Hey, ah, crap! Okay, you're fine. You're fine. Good. Wow, this is crazy. This is crazy. Hi, ah, Rigucci. We got this. We got this. You really thought box like this? I've never played this. You're thinking of somebody else. Alright, there's a ladder here. That that might be helpful. Maybe. I'm gonna give Alex a couple likes. Saturday spread. Thanks for following. All right. I don't know if this gets me to where I want to be, but okay. Nice ladder, Alex. What are you doing? That's a bad, that's a bad ladder. I don't think I want that ladder. I take my likes back. Nobody could have left a rope. Um. Okay. Save. Can you downvote a ladder? I know, right? That was a bad ladder. It's like Jacob's ladder. All right, let's see what Alex was thinking. Maybe he's a genius. Ah! <laughs> no. <laughs> Alex, what are you doing to me, Alex? Why? What is this scene? What? Oh, this is me being in... Okay, that's me being in the seam. It's been a while since I've actually seen that. That's me, like, about to, uh... Revive. I have to actually sit through this. I want to reload! But... Okay. <laughs> hey, T-shirt review. All right, I'm gonna reload that. Probably doesn't matter, but I'm gonna reload it anyway. Okay, so Alex's ladder is a bust. That doesn't work.
All right, we're going to go back a little. I honestly don't... Whoa, okay, all right. Let's just settle down now. Let's not be silly. It'd be great if he would step down. You're fine. Is there a different way I can go? <laughs> I'm not really seeing a lot of good ways to go here. God dang. Let me try my ladder now. Uh. Oh, wrong menu. Is this gonna help? I don't even know if this is gonna help. I don't. The last thing I want to do is have a ladder like Alex's. All right. That's an Alex ladder if I've ever seen one. Put your foot in there! It's fine. <laughs> no! Put your foot in there! Yeah, stick your foot in the rung. You're good. Alright, stop. Calm down. We're fine. We're fine. Yes! Yes! Yes, you do those impossible things. Yes. All right. If I only had like four more ladders, we'd be we'd be really good right now. Four more ladders. Hmm. Ah, damn. This is not good. Who the hell builds a lab over here? Like, who does that? this okay on, let's get this show in okay I didn't know I could just climb this it looked like I was stuck oh apparently we just just norn it and go up there Woo hey potty what's up I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place You're assuming Vogue is trying to make a crazy direct route instead of a longer roundabout? I have, I don't know. What do you, do you guys see? How, how else would I do this? Of oh, the direct route, I went from here. The direct route would have been this. I actually went around this way. I didn't understand that Dexter reference. I never saw Dexter. Get your, get your stamina back. Now I'm starting to go off course. But I don't see a way to go that way. All right. This is just 
way too steep. You got it. You're fine. I'm sure they'll have some Sunny D for you at the end. You know, you'll do anything for Sunny D. Too close. <laughs> this body is much less talkative than the last one. It's the same body. <laughs> Oh, the cartoon called Dexter Labrador? Oh, I never saw that either. Oh, there's a zip line up here. I don't know if that zip line helps us much. I don't think I'm in the chiral network, am I? Whoa, don't fall, please. Oh, God. The momentum carried me down. No. 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 Stay still. What is with you always wiggling around? Oh, this is on the network. Oh, God. Look how easy this would be. This is fantastic. Let's build it. I don't even know if I'm going to be up here ever again. All right, where is this lab? I don't know. Construction complete. Let's see what this is take us. Is that his lab there? What was that noise? Sound like Santa. Santa! I know him. If this dumps me, it's not gonna dump me, is it? All right, before I just, am I allowed to save it? Um, no, you can't save it while you're, this is gonna dump me off the mountain. No, okay, good. Yeah, I, I was thinking he was gonna drop me right off the edge, Golomancy. Alright, let's see if we can get up here. Eric of Holland! This looks like a good ladder. That's an excellent ladder, Eric of Holland! Where's the lights? Thanks for the help. This one's for you. Thanks for the help. There you go. A good day. There, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stand still. I'm king of the world! Insufficient chiral bandwidth. Well, how about we get rid of the one we just made? Will that work? Oh no. If I get rid of this one, is that bad? It might be bad. Damn, this would be a great one. Huh. Where's another one that I can get rid of? I don't know. I'm kind of afraid. Um, there was that one up by the cabin. I made I made some on the way to the cabin that we didn't need before. I don't remember where that cabin is though. I don't. Let's celebrate Whoa. 26 months of shopping. I don't Martinis think I need this all one. around, shaken, not stirred. F I don't think I need PLS this one. Do not follow this mountain top. I'm gonna try, Irindil. Thank you so much. Hype 11 the chat for Arendelle. Building a 
second here. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. Under construction. Huh. That brings me all the way over there and back down here. Alright. Just in case they send me here multiple times. Okay. Oh, did I, oh, I should have just roped down. It's a good, good idea, Raz. I don't know. Is the rope going to be long enough, though, is the question. Probably. Probably is. Um, did I bring a rope? I thought I brought ropes. Maybe I don't. Maybe I have none. Nope, no ropes. That was dumb. That's gonna be the zip line that's gonna dump people. It's possible, yeah. You're fine. You're fine! Stop it. Since it's an option, go ahead and urinate. I peed on one of the boss monsters. Can you, like, let go of the grenade? You're fine. I feel like I've told my character he's fine a lot. A Make delivery! We did it, gang. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Only an A? Transporter. We're finally a transporter. All right, so we're bridge link grade 40. Your sync level with other players is increased. You can now make more strand contacts. You can now make more upgrade cooperation requests. The period of time we can send. None of that is really anything I use, so. Request to join UCA registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. Here we go. Hook them up. Shape. Get it? It's a heart shaped section because it's Hartman. A thermal pad? Is that how we're going to stay warm? Is this a heart shaped lake? 
Please proceed into the facility with a cadaver. Sounds like college. We actually, actually we actually get to go in somewhere. Look at these skulls. Ancient humans. Rocks. Please proceed into the Touch it? Don't touch! Why would you touch that? I'm having more and more trouble relating to my <laughs> main character here. This is posh digs. This is really cool. I don't know why the, the whole floor is padded, though. <gasps> oh, Hartman is... Is he sick? Or is he, like... Don't touch it. <sighs> and then he wakes up, so he like dies for a while and then comes back. Episode eight, Hartman. All right, here we go. Okay. Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. No. Glad you could make it. What a lie. I don't touch. Remember, we don't touch. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please lay her down there. Still no sign of them. <laughs> you know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach and then return. That's gotta be annoying as hell. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. What? This is my life. This is crazy. So, while you've traveled to and from the sea an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. It's not a competition. 218,500 and 49. <laughs> they just had it on the screen who plays Hartman. I didn't I didn't notice that. I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see Hartman's heart-shaped heart? No, you really should. He's like, uh-uh. <laughs> it doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye. Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying. Spending eternity alone. Which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? <laughs> if death would see like. us reunited, then yes. 
But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Stop trying to touch me. Oh. Um. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. I wouldn't leave this with her. I mean, with him. <laughs> I don't What's think wrong? he needs this. Where's the other thing we were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. Oh, again? I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. I wouldn't be able to get anything done but if I was this guy. That'd be so bad. My beach is connected to others. As if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. Hey, Rabbit. Yeah, I know, right? It's just a thing. All right, now. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the seam. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, what? three, two, one. No, he has a heart. His heart stops. Every 21 minutes, Twilight. And then it comes back. Oh, 
Okay. How do I use my time? Okay, so he's got rocks and I can't get up though. Okay, a whole bunch of rocks. He's got these dripping dudes. They look like the melting remnant faction from Monster Train. He's got some lightsabers lighting up the room. A dead wolf. You can't move, no. Nope, you can't move. Mama's remains. If there's something specific you want me to look at, let me know. BT models. Okay. Family portrait from back in the day. Hartman's daughter. Antique record player. What about up here? Anything? Chiral crystals. BT apparition. Only got a minute left to get all the likes from Hartman. I got 30 likes for that one. I don't know where other likes are. Enhance. Enhance. Thirty seconds. What about this? Whale skeleton. I speak whale. Do you guys know that? Five seconds! He's coming back. Stand clear. And then he comes back. Alright. No luck. Visit 218,550. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. No. Yes. I said it's terrible. And How does now, he sleep? Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation. Pollution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one. Right. And intercourse, I suppose. Verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. 20 or minutes of from love. For the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> no hugs. <laughs> you gave us a like. As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too.
I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. Boom. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. Oh boy. All these people died during the void outs. The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Oh boy. Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny though, even when my heart stops, the pain <laughs> lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Did we lose the one? You mind telling me what I'm doing here? You just wipe words off my screen. Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning. One that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Okay. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period. <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. So their theory is this you was see, not the first death stranding. in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Oh, shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Don't put him on mute. Uh oh. Sometimes he's gonna later, pass out in front of me. Observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. 
vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. A Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. Yeah. That's why he's got... Uh, okay, that's why he's got cushioned floors everywhere. I didn't understand that at first. That makes a lot of sense. Ah, he's fine. Don't worry Just... about him, Sam. Pierre Matt Thor absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. Just steal a couple cookies on your way out. He <laughs> just, I don't know if he knows what that does, but. <laughs> you were docked 20. Hey! He took 20 likes away from me. <laughs> There's so many weird things that happen. What is all that? I don't get it. I don't get it. Here, we're going to give you a, a, a really, like, in depth. Heartfelt diatribe. Sam, you heard him. We're gonna give you this heartfelt diatribe about like his family and he died and he comes back and the research we're doing and then at the end we're just gonna on the record player. I have to fix my monitors because I can't even see you guys chatting. Um, that's so funny. What is going on? I do like the the rubber floors though or the cushion floors. That was great. Yeah, we got our like back at least, yeah. You like that segment, Sparkwood? Well, I, I was just thinking during that cutscene, um, th this is my favorite part of the game, is these cutscenes where there's these long segments where you don't actually do anything. It's the, it's the gameplay that I think needs the work. <laughs> um, but I agree, that was interesting. That was interesting. Okay. I fixed my my uh, monitors. I can see what you're saying again. Hi. Spaceball says, interestingly, there was a mass extinction like 11,000 years ago that you can see in the rocks because there's a black matte layer of rich dirt where the whole bunch of stuff died at once. Yeah. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. <laughs> Nope. All right, I want to create a sign. Somebody's going to like it. It's going to be good. Um, somebody put a Hartman sign there. For the heart. Deep river. Right there's a deep river. Watch out! Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edge Knot City. And that means connecting this region first. Okay. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evil Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. 
That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. He basically just told you what today's stream is. <laughs> That's today's stream. Um. Okay. Orders for Sam. Geologist and the paleontologist. All right. That's a lot of stuff. Should I do... Anybody know? Should I do one of these at a time and come back? That's 20. It's 80. I don't know. Can we get everything? Highly dangerous antimatter bomb. Do not allow this cargo to be dropped or to roll along the ground or strong impacts. It's 100 kilograms for both. Is that too much? A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result Good luck of with your root canal, exposure sorry. to Chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some Chirelium scrubbing agents. Administering shock. Stand clear. He's coming back. The stratum the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period. The time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. Okay, that's what we're going to do now. One more thing, Sam. Of course, one more thing. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives. It's a good reminder. But in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. 